So a companion, a mage, and a dragonborn walk into a bar. Hello, hello, hello. So we want to take a look at Tree Rific. This is ported by Jarl Ballin 89. Now, and I say it's ported because there's a number of mods here being used. Again, kind of a mashup. Um, so credits to, you know, this, these other mods, tree it, happy little trees, hod, hodden, hodman ear. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I just I have trouble with that anyway. And then all these other credits here, and this is why I say it's, it's kind of a poor and it's kind of a mashup. I, I don't want to be offensive in any way. Yarl Ballin has put together a number of, of cool things and um, hopefully this will work out and look as good as some of the pictures here if you notice I have taken a brief glimpse at part of it and the part I saw looked pretty good but uh, you know we need to get into the game and take a look at it notice that it is pretty big 234 megabytes but lately, we've been seeing more and more interesting tree mods. Now, I, I won't necessarily say they're all perfect, but they've been pretty good. So we're going to jump into this and take a look around the world and see what we can see. All right, so we're here in Iverstead, and I guess the girl doesn't really matter. Let's take a look at these trees out here. If you look out that way... And you look over here, this looks pretty good. Uh, don't mind the bear. There's there's a funny little short about that, but uh, don't mind the bear for right now. Anyway, looking at these trees, trying to get a feel for how they look. I think, the, I think they look pretty good. The bark texture is a little, probably a little low quality there on these trees. I don't usually put my face up on them, but I know people like to look at this. So... Depends on what you like. Overall, though, I mean, because I usually don't put my face, like, right up on the tree trunk. You know, usually I'm standing off like this. And I think they look fine like this. Still, perhaps not as high def as you might want. Um, either that or maybe it's just my eyes, but they don't look really high def to me when I get up close. See, like that. So, just mentioning that. I'm not saying they look awful. I actually think, I think overall the trees look good. Am I off the road? I think I got off my path, didn't I? Yes, I did. All right, so I was trying to walk along the path and just give you a general idea of what things look like here. They give you some nice variety in the trees and different things. Don't mind the bushes. But I think this looks pretty good. Hey, he's not being attacked by a wolf today. Sometimes he is. Maybe he's not gotten to the right point yet. All right. So I think for here in Iverstead, I think this pretty much shows you what the trees are going to look like. Let's hop on down to Riften, and then we're going to go look some other places, okay? All right. So we're here in Riften. And we're just looking around at the trees again. I don't expect them to be different, but the idea is just to give you some different perspectives. And sometimes we notice things in different locations that we don't see in others. So overall, this is not bad. It's just that the, uh, the bark textures aren't as high def as I thought they would be. Um, so I admit that even I'm starting to say, well, you know, those don't look quite as good as I had hoped. The, uh, the trees themselves look fine. It gives you more of a foresty appearance and thought. Oh, oh, oh stupid skeever. Hold on. I'm flailing about. We will kill you eventually. All right, anyway. Um, I think overall it gives you a good foresty appearance. I like the way this looks here. It's just like I said, I don't, I'm not sure that the bark 
is all that great. I guess I had expected more. Why is this person talking to me? Don't go to the Blue Palace. The Master is on vacation. Don't listen to Dervenin. Don't do it. All right. Okay. I'm sorry for that interruption. <laughs> the Master has gone, but Dervenin will find him. Just Dervenin go away. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're going somewhere else. We're gonna go look at. Uh, let's go to Fall Creek. I'll see you there in a minute. All right. So we're here in Fall Creek. See the pretty purple banner and. The people, and we had a dragon attack. That'll be something I'll try to show later. Now, I'm feeling I'm on a Series X. Now, I am recording on my Series X as well. I'm feeling some slowdown here. Um, is this bark better? I think this bark and stuff, well, okay, I think some of this tree bark is better. And the forest looks pretty good. But I'll tell you, I feel a little slow down in my eyes here. I mean, it's not... I'm not saying that it's super bad. Matter of fact, it might even be okay if I wasn't recording as well as playing. It might be okay. But... I don't know. I feel just a little slow down here. Not anything major, and it might be perfectly fine. You'll have to try it. Now, I did have someone mention something about how on their um, Series S they had trouble, or maybe it was maybe it wasn't a Series S. Maybe it was an Xbox One S. Nonetheless, that they had some trouble using a mod that I was using, and that's why um, I do mention the machine I'm on because I know. Some of these mods probably would not work well on the older, less powerful Xbox consoles. And I mean, that's just it's just something we have to deal with. Um, here, this is an interesting take on uh, Falkreath's forest. I mean, my goodness, look at this. Can, can we walk through this? Yeah, we can, but that's weird. It's overgrown the road there. Anyway, I think they may have overpopulated this area. Um, in a way, it looks good, but I feel like it's—I feel like it's dragging my frame rate down a little bit. It's interesting though, and these trees and these—the bark on these trees looks. Mm, I think some of them look better, and some of them don't. Am I under attack? No, okay. Anyway, um, so okay, this is just something to be aware of. And down here also, I'm definitely feeling, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the video. I'm feeling a frame rate loss right there. So just something to be aware of. Again, I'm on a Series X. I am using the Series X for my recording as well. I'm going to stop doing that. Uh, because I want to see if that actually makes an impact on our frame rate. So I'm going to stop doing that. I do have my old method of recording and I'm going to start using that again. I'm just getting an upgrade for it. And then I'm going to switch back to that. Because uh, I want to make sure that when I'm showing you something, I'm showing you the game running on the console without my recording on the console at the same time because I feel like that may be slowing or causing some slowdown in some situations. Nonetheless, um, I don't usually get this and this definitely to me feels a little off, okay? All right, let's head up to Dragon Bridge and check that area out. All right, so we're here at Dragon Bridge and I like to use this because you can look off in the distance and see the trees around. This looks really good. Pardon me. I, I had some hiccups. I was trying to kill the sound on those. Anyway. Uh, I think the trees look good. Here. Like this. I'm not feeling the same slowdown we had down in Falkreath. 
But of course, whoops, well, I didn't mean to walk through that bush. But uh, of course, this is different. Um, the tree, the number of trees and things are different. That tree bark looks pretty good. That looks better than some of the others we've seen. Again, not to be overly particular, I just know that I know that some of us really look, some people really look really close at everything. Um, you know, and I, I have to admit that to some degree, as long as the tree bark looks okay, if it's a good 1K, that's usually all I need for most of the things in my game. Um, I usually don't rub my face like right up on it like this. Um, but nonetheless, this looks pretty good even up close. Some of the others didn't look quite so good. Let's move on. Okay, so we have the trees up here. I wanted to see what the snow trees would look like. You know how we are. All right, so we're going to head up here and see the snow trees. I had a little craziness, so don't. Don't worry about that. You may see some little shorts on that. Now here, I'm starting to feel a little slowdown again. It may... Now this one may just be my imagination. We'll see. I was starting to feel a little slow down there. But um, this is an interesting snow tree take. It is different from the others. I'm not totally opposed to it. I kind of like the the white leaves and everything. So I am I, again. I am not complaining. It makes for a bright, a bright snowy place. But then snowy places usually are pretty bright. So, hmm. So it depends on what you like. I, I think this looks pretty good in its own way. And it gives you a different look than the other snow trees. I like these. I think I like these. It's kind of a cheat, but in a way it's a good looking cheat, ain't it? Yeah, I kind of like these. That's interesting. Huh. All right, so this is how the snow trees look. Let's take a look at this bark. It looks kind of different. It's not real high res either, though honestly, I don't usually get that close to a tree that much. I mean, I'm not going to do this all the time. But um, just to give you an idea, it, it probably could stand to be a 1K bark. But I will tell you... that if if you add too much more to this mod because like I said in some places I'm already feeling a little slow down I think if you add too much more to it it's going to degrade the performance okay and and again I am on a series X but right now though the performance feels fine right now I'm not feeling that but there's been a few times I felt a little frame rate drop and it just felt a little off. Like right in here, that feels just a little off. Don't know if you'll be able to tell it in the uh, video. I can just tell it in my eyes, the way it feels, the way it feels a little sluggish. Yeah, and I, I'm not sure... I know it's supposed to have HD barks, and some of them seem to be HD, but I think some of it may not be. It does seem to have a decent LOD, either that or they've done the trees in such a way that you can't tell. I think it seems to look good to me. But there is that little annoying slowdown and stuff. Um, overall, the trees look interesting and different which if you're looking for something different this is not bad it's just like I said that annoying little slowdown in places alright okay so I think we've looked at all the trees that we normally do I'm gonna wanna I wanna go and check one thing 
All right, so I came here to the Forgotten Vale because in the past we had had a mod where the only issue was just a couple of trees in the Forgotten Vale. I know, dude. I know. You're grumpy. Anyway. Oh, you too? All right. Oh. Where did you go? There you are. Did... Okay, I clicked down, I guess, and changed my... My point of view, I didn't mean to do that. Nonetheless, what I was getting at was there was actually, you know, just a couple of trees that had an issue in that mod. I'm not really seeing any issue here, but of course, I'll tell you, in that mod, um, it was just a couple of specific trees, and I don't know that I will find those trees again. Um, but I'm just going to walk up this way for a minute and let you have a look. This is the Forgotten Veil. Vale. And this is how it's looking here. And these look pretty cool. I, I would say overall these look good. I don't see any weird little graphical thing. Now I don't know if there's a lot of trees up this way. So pardon me, but we're going to head up this way for a minute. No, this is like spiders and stuff. Hold on. Oh, I know, I know. You're big and bad here. There. Alright, so... Let's just take a quick look over here. I don't... Did those spiders follow me? Oh, they are. Okay, hold on. Alright, alright, alright. Sorry, I ignored you. There. Okay. So, I'm not seeing a problem here. These look like the other snow trees. These do not look like the uh, trees we saw up around uh, Dragon Bridge. So, maybe they didn't change anything in the Forgotten Vale, and maybe that's for the better. I don't see any issues here, so we're going to move on. I just wanted to take a quick glance in case there was some issue, but I don't see a problem. It looks like some of these trees aren't even changed. And it um, looked like most of the changes had occurred back before you get to these spiders, okay? Alright, so let's hop out and take a look at the mod. Alright, so this has been Treerific we've been looking at. It's about 234 megabytes. I see it's by Jarl Ballen 89 right? And it's kind of a mashup of a number of different mods. It looks good in a lot of ways. There's some things that may be... You know, bark textures were not, maybe not as good as you would have liked in some places. Overall, I like the idea of it. There was, did seem to be some slowdown in a few spots. So be aware of that. I'm on a Series X, okay? If you try this mod on an older console, you may have some trouble. And, and it is a big tree mod, okay? Normally, you know, our tree mods tend to stay a little bit smaller than this. This is 234 megabytes, so pretty big for a tree mod. However, it's ambitious. It looks good in a lot of ways. I liked I liked the idea of the white snow trees, you know, where they changed it to look like that, even though that maybe doesn't resemble snow, but, but I don't know. It just looks very good to me. That was one of the things I thought was cool, so... I wouldn't mind seeing that in the future, or maybe just even a snow tree replacer and just replace them with those trees, because I thought those looked good. But that's just me, okay? Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will catch you later. So, I want to acknowledge these people who donate to the channel, who support the channel. They put their money where their mouth is, and I really do appreciate that. So, thank you to these folks. And thank you to everyone for watching and supporting the channel. This has been a How That's March production. Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you very much.